Hello and welcome to My Dad Wrote a Porno, The Footnotes. Now, today's guest is a four-time Grammy nominee and he sold more than 30 million records worldwide. He's a real triple threat. He's an actor, he's a singer, he's a massive pervert. He's a pornographer. <laughs> <laughs> it's Josh Grover. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thanks for coming. What an honour. My goodness. <laughs> oh, as if. Come on. No, thank you. No, are you kidding? I love... I love funny podcasts, and you guys are the funniest I've ever heard in my entire oh, life. Oh, wow. It just like reminds me of like when I get drunk with my friends at 2 in the afternoon and just yeah. talk about anything. <laughs> well, that's exactly what we do. Yes, so, it's so you know, fun. I'm glad it comes across that way. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. 2 oh, in wow. the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's a day drinker. Yeah. <laughs> when he's working hard, he's working yes, hard. When yes. he's not, he's really not. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on UK time when I drink <laughs> in the US. <laughs> so how did you hear about the show? Um, I'd heard peripherally about the show um, from a lot of friends in the U.S. who'd who'd been listening to it. And then I just started listening to it on my tour. And so every time, it was my gym, my workout routine was listening. (laughs) Yeah. And you're just giggling on the elliptical, just (laughs) laughing your head off. And I had an awkward moment once where I was on the elliptical and I was was listening and just laughing. And I had those little AirPods, those little douchebag, you know, yeah, AirPods yeah, yeah. in. And they're so tiny. And, you know, I've got a beard, too. So it's kind of, you know, it got, it got lost in my beard. It got lost <laughs> sure. in my beard. And there was a trainer working with somebody who was not very strong and oh, was no. having a really difficult time. And I just kept laughing on the elliptical. Oh, and no. I think they Josh. thought I was laughing at the training session. And I, I had to do that thing what where I took my ear. What kind of dick is like... <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at them through the reflection in the mirror. You know why people just, like me don't go to the gym. Two point five k. No, I just, I, I, no, look, I'm weak. I mean, usually it's the other way around. But I, I had to take out the AirPod and just be like, "You guys got to listen to this. It's so funny." Just like, Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's not uh, you. Promise. It's not you. I it's promise. This poor guy's dad. Oh, and it's, it's even worse it's than what thing. you're trying. To a lot, a lot of people nearly injure themselves on gym equipment or swerve yeah. off the road in yeah. their cars and things. Yeah, it's uh, quite a dangerous show to listen to. Actually, man, I, I didn't sort of realize. Warning. It's going to be such a hazard, but yeah, 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 you have to make sure you're in a quiet place where Indeed. you're seated yeah. and ready to, to receive the laughter. Yeah, you can't really do anything else while you're engaged in my dad's book. It's like an all-encompassing experience. Yeah, yeah. it's hypnotic in that way. Oh, um, it yeah. just kind of takes you to, it's like transcendental meditation. <laughs> <laughs> It's Kinda. like la- laughter deep within. You Josh, know, that's going to be on Rocky Flintstone's email now. <laughs> oh his email signature. What was it? Transcendental. Yeah. Josh Groban. The meditation of uh, Everyone... erotic <laughs> humor. Um, now, you, Josh, and Jamie have a, something in common in that your dads are both businessmen. <laughs> of of sort. Perfect. Uh, yeah. um, no, your dad was a businessman, yes. right? Uh, yeah, he still is. He's oh, really? uh, what they call it, he's an executive recruiter. So he, okay. he helps find jobs for people on an executive level. A company will come to him and they'll say, you know, we need a new head of marketing and he'll interview people and, and hire the right person for the job. He Much does... like an international sales director. That's exactly, he is, he's wow. very excited to that. Yeah. These books are nothing new to you then. You, no, you no, already I, knew all I, of this. He'd have come home, have a scotch and tell us all about his, <laughs> his perverted day. So he yeah. could have been the guy that would have brought Belinda into Steel. Well, that's the exactly, job interview. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yes. He's built from yes. HR. Yes. He's built from HR. Your dad is built from HR. That's right. And, and he married a woman named Melinda. <gasps> no. So my, mom, my mom's ma- na- name is Melinda. So, yeah. Oh. So it's there, the similarities are endless, truly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's two, but yeah. Yeah, but two. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would you consider suggesting the podcast to him or maybe getting him Rocky's book? Because I think he would, you know, enjoy, as an insider in this yes. world, would really enjoy it. I actually, I think I think you're right because there there is lots in the business world to be gleamed from. This mm. book. I mean, depending on which chapter you read, there's erotica, and then there's also just day to day business activities. Yeah, yeah tips. Well, exactly. My right. dad does always say to us, he's like, "Guys, you don't know because you don't do business. You don't know about it." <laughs> if I had a nickel dad, for on. every time Dad would tell us at the dinner table <laughs> yeah. when asking about what he does in that accent, but oh strangely, God. he flips into it. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you don't. You don't. I, I wonder, like, if Rocky Flintstone would ever be interested in, in lyrics, in doing lyrics, since he has such an, an oh. odd way of <laughs> sentence crafting. Well, he's a poet, really. He isn't is a he? poet. Yeah. He is a poet, and so it's always interesting uh, working with established authors uh, in, a mu- in a musical capacity, like sending a melody and yeah. seeing what lyrics might 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 pop out. <gasps> oh, well, it's funny God. you say I that because might have to challenge him. We were thinking of a stage musical, and we oh, yeah. thought you might be able to advise us um, in in a kind of consultation oh, capacity uh, for free. Only uh, now. consultation. Um, well, I, well, you were totally nominee. I, I mean, I, you I, could I be do in much more than that for free with this. I mean, <laughs> uh, if you need a need an American baritone to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who would you want to play in the oh musical or the film? Uh, was it was it Alfonso who had the black speedo? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. I see. I feel like 
like popping out of a maze randomly <laughs> with a baritone aria, you know. <laughs> I feel like you've been spending too much time on the elliptical to be Alphonse. Like, you'd have to really rein that in. No, I, I, I have precisely been on the elliptical specifically to, to wear the black Speedo you know, uh, in a way that wouldn't embarrass myself. So, uh, so yeah, no, it's, that, could be, uh, that could be good. Maybe I should play Jim Sterling. That would be great. Yeah, He's a like... big character as well, yeah, so that's yeah. a big, big role that's for you. So you've should... really bigged yourself up there, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should play a massive part. Yeah, yeah. That's um, the meatiest role, I think. Oh, for sure. Don't say meaty when it comes to Jim Sterling. Sterling. Mm. And he goes on a bit of a journey as well, doesn't he? So there's there's, yeah. there's a lot to play with there. There's, there's a depth. Lot of, yeah, yeah. Don't absolutely. say play with when it comes to <laughs> don't, don't, say, don't say depth. Don't say depth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Are you inspired to write a song? I mean, have you, you when you've been listening, have you been thinking, oh, pots and pans? <laughs> oh, there's something in the kind of business sphere. Wow. And you just grab a pan. Blinking. And then... <laughs> Belinda's always blinking. Um, okay, blinking stuff. Blink, okay, yeah, write yeah, that yeah, down, that's, Alice. Yeah, yeah. But, is that, but is that, that's not an opener. That's like that's like deep into the second act. Okay. Oh, I, feel, okay. I feel like in retrospect. Okay. Oh, it's, like it's a soliloquy. The, it's something. the sad, melancholy, uh, you know, retrospect of the fact that, oh. oh my gosh, what the blinking, what does it all mean? Maybe it's Morse code. That was quite Sondheim-esque. Oh, it was, it was very Sondheim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, it could be quite highbrow. <laughs> I feel like that could be a Chicago-y type one for when she's stripping. Oh, oh. you think? Yeah. Oh, like a big can-can number almost or something like that. Or something from Gypsy, like... <laughs> yeah, the, the whole brass section working really, yes, really yes. hard. Um, yes. Literally, what's the I want? There's always an I want song at the beginning, isn't there? That establishes what the main character wants. So it'd be Belinda talking about making some sort of big deal travel or right. tra- right. getting the travel. Getting her big bonus, right? Right. right. Her big Get, bonus. That's real. Was, that's, yeah. that's her main motivation, yeah. I think. Right. She um, wants to be noticed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. She's not supposed to be seen in those busy pubs and restaurants. <laughs> what's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> all hang out. Yeah. You make it so much deeper. She just wants a voice. She wants to, she just yeah. wants to be seen. <laughs> I'm, no. listening. I'm listening and I'm just thinking, yes, yes, yes. It's all very funny. But... <laughs> There's a woman <laughs> screaming, There's screaming for attention screaming here. for attention here. Look, can we not see? So it's a, it is, in fact, a classic tale. I think it is. I think it's a tale as old as time. I right. Think it's a, Thank you. Really. Has that been used? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. It's just coming. Wait, yeah. it's okay, I don't know, fine. I don't know where this is it's coming gonna from. It's going to be a hit. I, I'm a vessel right now. I'm a Did vessel. Just go with it. Story as old as time, or was it tale, tale, tale as tale, old as time? Tale. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's brilliant. T a i l. Okay. Uh, it's a sex pun. Um, do uh, they yeah. do they sell? Teapots at Steels? I don't know. We can make it work. We can make it work. Pots and pans, pots and pans. (laughs) Clink, clank, clink, clank. We get Stomp to come in and just. Oh, yeah. Oh, now that's. Yes. hit, Hit her pans. That's a really great yeah, shout. Yeah. People love that as well. So okay. basically, Belinda Blink to the musical will be like nude stomp. <laughs> <laughs> We've nailed what it. We've it. nailed it. We hit it. Oh, man. We went a little sideways for a minute, but we hit the bullseye. Because the worst thing about stomp is the clothes. Is the lack of nudity. Am I, I right? Yeah. Totally agree. And the noise, but they'll we could still need, somehow... <laughs> they'll still need boots. Yes, we'll for the it, stomping yes, and all. Exactly. But I'm guessing rather than bin lids, it's pan lids. Yeah, it would have to be. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wooden but, I mean, spoons. For, yeah, for legal thing. reasons, we'll for have to change reasons, a few we'll things. A little okay, bit. so yeah. Taylor sold his time, nude stomp. <laughs> yeah, romp. <laughs> romp. Romp! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is why he gets paid the big bucks. <laughs> oh Come God. on. Okay. Oh, now I know what to talk about tomorrow on stage. I mean, don't forget you said you wanted to be in it. No, no, I definitely Now you're in nude stomp. I'm not backtracking on that. It's just about who to play, who to play, who to play, who to play. <laughs> Truly, um, well, it's 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 opened up a world of fantasies for me. Uh, what? No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Stop. It's, it's going I feel south. like he should write about like a, a hacker at some point. Oh, like, do that a is tech a mystery. little bit modern for him. I was say, you that's think a so? Bit of a stretch. He's still writing about fax machines. Yeah, but that's okay. He could have be ha- somebody who hacks fax machines. <laughs> You know, it could still be with his signature out of touchness. Oh, a hacker, yeah. Yeah, he could yeah, write yeah, about yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sure. a hacks machine. Yes. Yeah, because obviously he's now gone down this whole spy route, um, and that's wearing thin. Yeah. So um, I feel like he's 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 ready for another U-turn. Right. Uh, into right. yeah, like kind of like a, like a Mister Robot kind of thing, Ooh, but yeah, with absolutely. Belinda. Yeah. Mm. Um, Mister Blowbot. <laughs> <laughs> Through all the laughter, have people approached him saying, "I really like it." I, I'm a big fan, actually. I, what a creepy I know, voice! I know that. I really like it. I, re- I really like I, what I, you do. I really like it. I really yeah. at the supermarket. Yeah. Hey, I really like hey, what you're doing. You don't turn around. I really like. Don't turn it. around. Just let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, does he have serious groupies? Of... People who aren't laughing, who actually read it and 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 find it to be very just m- you, I think, Josh, and aroused. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own there. Yeah. Um, no, just me then. Well, Fine. 
what's interesting is that because obviously he likes to keep himself anonymous, right? Sure. Um, but no, Dad does kind of slip his business card down at every restaurant he goes to no. with the bill. Really? He's like, just so you know, uh, I'm him. Oh my god! And normally they're like, <laughs> well, the Who? secret's not going to be for long. <laughs> exactly. I mean, he keeps doing that. The I mean, amount it's... he eats out, honestly. <laughs> These days, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, so no, so people aren't shy about coming up to him and yeah, saying how much they love the show. And wow. also, he's he, he's massive on Twitter. Yeah. So people kind of get in touch with him a lot on there. So interesting. Yeah, he does interact. With the uh, with with the fandom, but I don't think as anyone's... him or as Rocky, as Rocky, as Rocky. Well, he's now yeah. morphed into Rocky he's, completely. My dad there is, is gone. no difference. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. That man is no more. Right. He's he's fully Rocky now. We <laughs> mourn Jamie's dad because I don't know when we last saw him. <laughs> uh, 2015 <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Does he ever hide out in the audience? People not knowing, just to hear what people are talking about. Hide um... is a really strong word. <laughs> he basically once came to a show incognito. Uh-huh. Uh, but he was wearing wraparound sunglasses. Fedora. A fedora. <laughs> Essentially a, loudest, a cape. No, literally. <laughs> the loudest shirt you've ever seen. Huge there is nothing Hawaiian. to see here. <laughs> it was all of that. And he yeah. dyed his hair one shade darker, even oh, though nobody man. knows what he looks like. So mm, completely irrelevant. Honestly, he looked like a spy in Belinda Blinked. Yeah, he looked, yeah. He looked, he looked like one of the characters. Ridic- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He looked ridiculous. But um, he does enjoy coming in and listening because he has no idea... For the most part, yeah. why people are laughing. Mm. So we'll come off stage at the, at the, like the intervals and he'll be like, "So guys, um, why did that get a laugh?" And we're like, "Oh, dad, <laughs> it's not a joke to him." Dad. Does I mean, he, it, it does is. Does he get in hindsight why it maybe is a little funny, or is he? He enjoys the fact that he, he's making people laugh, but he still, to this day, five seasons in, he yeah. still thinks that he's working on a plane above us all, yeah. and that one day. We're going to be the people. I'm who not are sure that he's wrong now. Yeah. This deep in, I'm not sure that he's wrong. Because yeah. who am. is the joke on? Like, really, who true. is the joke on? Yeah, yeah. We're reading the fifth book for that. Right, sake. right. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're putting aside S- other commitments fans. to read <laughs> yeah. his work. I mean, come on, Josh he's Groban won. is here. here. He could be doing proper things. Yeah. He's flown over, especially <laughs> from the US. He's got a very busy schedule. You know, playing Hyde Park tomorrow is a bonus, truly. It's just the icing on the cake to this to this day. Um, With Celine, right? That's right, yes. Wow. Uh, I'm coming. I'll see you there. Oh, excellent. Yeah, good, yeah, good. yeah. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, you'll be able to see my uh, my Rocky Flintstone persona on stage, as it were. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's two very two very different me's. There's is there like, a monster within? There is. A... <laughs> you'll be duetting, right? No, no. You're not duetting? No, not duetting. What? Oh. Yeah, what about can, the prayer? Can, can, we can't get a hold of her. What? You can't get a hold of her. I know I lo- exactly where she'll be. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see her tomorrow. I will see her tomorrow. Maybe I'll ask her tomorrow. Hopefully she'll be there tomorrow, yeah. There's 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 an impenetrable sorry wall of uh of people around her. Uh, yeah, they... that uh, that uh you know So you like that Celine 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 it's, 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 it's Josh Celine Hi, Hi it's Josh here. Hi <laughs> I, I'm gonna be singing in a couple hours. I'll, I'll see you. It's... I'll start it. Just join in if yeah. you wanna if yeah. you wanna take part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll start it. <laughs> Sing it if you know it, Celine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but she starts the song. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, no. How do we do this? How do we do this? Two minutes of song. Like yeah, just kids. two minutes. Yeah, we'll, yeah, two minute intro. <laughs> You'll know when to come in. Yeah. I feel like uh, you just need to start off like kids like yeah. 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 Well, on the other hand, she did invite me to do this. So uh yeah. so it's so it's um I'm sure people will be like if the crowd gets behind you wanting to do it, I'm sure she'll should, just should I go full gladiator out there and just Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when you Shout. win the crowd, <laughs> you win the duet. <laughs> Yes. I love the idea that she invited you to do it and now you can't get a hold of her. <laughs> a bit like a bad a date where you're like, so life. are we still meeting at 8 story of my life. And you're going to get there and Listen. be like, hey, and she'll be like, oh shit, Josh, I, I, I'm I, so <laughs> sorry. Andrea could do it in the end. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> exactly. It's the story of my career. I'll oh, tell you. mate. Yeah, well, that's okay. At least it, she does it, not write in it, it keeps you from having a big head. Truly. Yeah, exactly. It does, yeah. You know? it keeps you to be ignored I, by Celine Dion is really quite, quite a feat. I have sold 30 million records. I can't get a single person on the phone. And I think that's <laughs> healthy. I think that's a healthy way to be. Uh, can't get a reservation to save my life. I uh, I, I, uh, I think that that's, that's good because it keeps it about the work, man. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Work. We'll know that Josh has changed when we try and ring him. Season six. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry, Josh can't come to the phone right now. He's actually yes. quite busy. The musical's does... ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> said he'd be our baritone. <laughs> Will you be my baritone? <laughs> I like that all the songs are the same, the same yes, melody. They, yeah, they... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we've got that one, Josh. We can't just change the Let words. My tits okay. do the talking. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good one. This is good. Yeah, let's write all this down. This, this is, is like a workshop, tank. right? Let's yeah. write this yeah. down. Yeah. All right, don't worry. I've yeah. got it. What I've was that? Let the tits do the talking. 
Let's that's your Chicago. Let's the that's your Chicago yeah, that's number. That's the one with the tassels. Is this how an album comes together? Is oh, it yeah, very similar to this? Absolutely. There should be no less than four people in the room. <laughs> Josh going, let the tits do the talking. Write this down. Write that let down. Let the tits do the talking. Write it <laughs> write down that again. Down. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, it's the same. Write it down again. Just black black too. thong. <laughs> black thong. Slow song, black thong. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you're kind of coming to the end of a tour at the moment, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, actually, I am right in the middle of one. Um... We just played. I mean, the thing is, uh, we. I mean, when we got the call to do this, uh, it was such an awesome opportunity, and so excited to, <laughs> so excited to do it. This or Hyde Park? This? Uh, no, no. I, I, oh, great! <laughs> I, I canceled uh, two gigs to be here. <laughs> um, the outdoor shows. Have you guys done any outdoor? No. Things. We did one once uh-huh. in a, a festival called Latitude, uh-huh. and I completely fucked up the show. What? Oh. I missed. How? I just can't tell time clearly, and I thought that we were running out of time and we'd only done 15 minutes so I was wrapping up the hour long set after 15 minutes and what? the other two were like what the fuck but with the book wow like, I was just, just like, like and Belinda had sex bye <laughs> <laughs> and I was like thank you so much good night and everyone was like what the fuck He's that's been the nice thing minutes. about having a set list yes, is that you because, know but time tra- time goes in very strange ways when you're on stage when yeah. you, sometimes you get like these little out of body experiences where you're like outside of yourself watching yourself singing and you're like okay bring it back John. Yeah. Bring, <laughs> bring it back inside do you ever start doing chat on stage and think I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Every night. you got to stick the landing somehow. <laughs> find, your way, find your way back to the meaning of the next song you're going to sing. Just start singing about black thongs. I, yeah, the other night uh, we played this wonderful venue in, in Massachusetts called Tanglewood, and it's this very established big kind of classical music venue. And somebody in the audience just kept making... Like their scream sounded animalistic. It was like it was like a high, like a like a low high. Like if you take a hyena's voice and slow it down with a computer, oh. kind of thing like coming from the audience. And I just started doing doing David Attenborough, like after that. Like I went off on a tangent about how he's trying to find a mate. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, <laughs> he will try again throughout the show, and I just kept that's going, a good day. That was good. That Thank was you. good. Thank you very much. Do you have any other kind of mad fans? Have they ever tried to grab you, or have you had any mad experience at shows? There was one woman. I sat on the edge of the stage, and I was singing um, "Not While I'm Around" from Sweeney Todd. This "Nothing's Gonna Harm You," "Not While I'm Around." This very, you know, innocent yeah. song, and the whole time, this lady, you know, swishing around a little margarita with one <laughs> oh <my> hand. It's <laughs> Bella, <laughs> front row, up, totally, absolutely, <laughs> looking up at me with her with her margarita swishing, and the other hand is going up my pant leg. No, oh. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, and I kept because I had 15,000 people that couldn't see that that was happening because she was real up close to the stage and I'm going, nothing's gonna harm you. No. I'm trying to <laughs> kick her off. away and I'm giving her this. I'm probably gonna harm you. Yeah, I'm gonna harm you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and she just kept looking at me going, mm-mm, and just kept doing it. It's very invasive. Yeah, well, I stopped sitting on the side of the stage that's, at that point. That's assault. Yeah, um, yeah. It's quite serious, actually. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's time to but, share. Uh, yes. She took her opportunity. She, she did. was having a lovely time. She did. She got more than her money was worth. Sometimes you, you encounter very shy people and you say, and you think to yourself, oh, how, how sweet. And you're in, you're in theater or you're, you're a singer. Yes, yes, I am. And you, and you say, oh, this would be nice. Would you like to sing a little bit? Oh, And no. everybody starts clapping and you think, how great. I'm going to give this opportunity and I'm going to have to twist her arm, but it'll be, it'll be great. And this happened the other day. And she took the microphone oh. from me and <laughs> yes. like, started doing runs. Oh my and, like, god! And all that jazz! Totally. Like, whoa! Yes. And she turned what was supposed to be the thirty-second duet. By the way, we were going to sing a duet, <laughs> and she took it <laughs> and just was like, "This is my moment." And you got to respect. Yes. That. You got to respect that. But you she celined it. Yeah, she celined it. Yeah, anything can happen. Very Belinda. Very the wild, Belinda. The wild world of Groban concerts. Yes. <laughs> we're going on tour next year. Really? Mm. But yeah, when are you guys going to tour the states? Again? Yeah, we're doing Radio City actually. Oh my god! Come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, come, come. When are you guys going to be there? April the third, I believe. Is that right? Just put it in your diary. <laughs> I will. Me? I mean, it's amazing. I mean, honestly, that that place is the most fun to play. Yeah, in New it's York. massive. And, and it's massive. It's about six thousand people. And you did you hosted the Tonys? Though, I did. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. That was last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with, I mean, that's Sarah insane. Burrell's. Yeah, it's it is a big venue, but it's a welcoming space. There's an energy to it that. Uh, Allows you to to really connect with the back row if you. If you oh, want good because yeah, because we did the Royal Albert Hall last year and yeah, that's like, similar. That yeah, kind of like exactly. it's almost like giving you a hug. That room, it, it's, it's like it is like giving you. A it hug. doesn't. F- it feels bigger when you're in the audience than it, it does on stage. Exactly in a weird right. Way. Exactly. Because yeah, I've right. seen Radio City and I'm like, fuck. Although yeah. back row is yeah. probably wishful thinking. I think the back. <laughs> we won't need to reach to the back row. <laughs> yeah. Just shuffle they, down. They, <laughs> there's room on the front row. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in fact, front and back pretty empty. So wherever you want to be, wherever you want to be. Just a rehearsal space. We've a. 
you've, you've obviously established that you want to be Alphonse in the musical version. Yeah. Do you have a favourite character overall, though? Oh, um, <laughs> I mean, it's hard, isn't it? Because they're all Please so Please don't shit. make me endorse this more, says Josh. So many, they come and go so quickly. They do. That's the no, thing, you're is right. That, is yeah. that just when I think I have a favourite, you don't hear from them again. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's, there's these characters that kind of come in and, sh- you know, she'll be interviewed by people. And then you think, well, this is going to be building to, you know, something and it just sure. it's just a meeting. No, yeah. That's exactly. it. That's all that happens. That's, that's life, Josh. That's, but that's life. That's life. That's, yeah. My, my favorite character is the voice of Rocky throughout every character oh, they... that lives inside us all. Oh, that's yeah, good. There you go. That's, 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 that's beautiful. Good. Thank you so much. Thank wow. you. I'm Thank crying. You. <laughs> Stop trying to make Belinda blink yeah. deeper than it is, Josh. Stop it. Will it become like The Simpsons where it's the ultimate accolade to actually get to appear? So will he start to write people in, known people? Like you've Josh. Got, yeah, I was going to say. Sure. You could, you could... You'll could. be in Blender Blinked 8, probably, Josh. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. You... That's fine? Yes, that's fine. You did The yeah. Simpsons recently, I did, you? yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, I, was, I was in an episode where I didn't actually appear, where Lisa Simpson became an obsessed fan of mine. And um, <laughs> that's cool. that was really cool. Uh, and then they asked me to come back and uh, play the play the singing voice of Professor Fink. Uh, so who, cool! Who, like, who so talk, always talks like this, but then he has a Gomer Pyle voice. You know, so, <laughs> so I came. I went in to be the uh, to be the voice of uh, Professor Fink, which was uh, again a huge huge thrill. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so fun. It was fun. It's fun to do that stuff. Do Do you when you appear in TV stuff? Do you have to audition? Surely not now. Uh, it depends on what it is. Mostly the things that I've done have been because a friend wrote something funny and thought of me and, you know, messages me on Twitter and says, hey, have you got time? But uh, Crazy Stupid Love was a movie I did and I auditioned for that. I auditioned for that one. I think we'd be happy not to audition, Josh. Or, uh, I've seen enough. I, I, I've seen enough. I, I, I would prefer to audition <laughs> mostly because I would like to sing the material first without pressure. Uh, <laughs> sure. Yeah, yes. really. Do you go in all Billy Big Bollocks? Like, do you have like a different... <laughs> no, there's a new term. <laughs> Billy Big Bollocks. Let's play one. Teach the Yank. <laughs> Honestly, say that. It'll go down a storm in almost every setting. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not church, but everywhere yeah, yeah, else yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. But Billy do Bollocks? You, what is it? Billy Big Bollocks. Billy Big Bollocks. Like, I can put two and two together with do that. You, do you have Confident. a kind of arrogant Correct. streak? Yes. I can't imagine you do, but do you have a kind of, do you, do you have another place you can go where you're like, I've got the confidence you're to You're Sasha that? Fierce. Yeah, I, exactly it's, that. It's a fake it till you make it thing. Like, I have to make believe in my own head that I'm the shit when I go out on stage. <laughs> but... <laughs> truly the moment before and the moment after I'm back into curling up into the fetal position like I just <laughs> that's not true it is it really is but by the way I think that's a common theme for a lot of performers yeah. is that having the opportunity to go out there and you know play Billy Big Billy Big Bollocks Bo- Big Bollocks thank you please say it on stage I, I will <laughs> There's you know, almost definitely another word for it, which I can't think no, of. No, no, there shouldn't. There shouldn't be. That's it. That's all it needs to be. Billy, Billy, big bollocks. Uh, I went to school with him. I uh, sat behind him. Uh, I was not him, but I, I observed him. Huge testicles. Huge testicles. All joking aside, uncomfortably large testicles. How did he sit? I mean, really. I, I, I uh, we tried to give the hints that maybe a procedure or something, but uh, yeah, kids yeah. can be so cruel. In reality, not confident at all. It's really, just uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. A real wallflower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the weight yeah. of the world, yeah. not on his shoulders, but... Uh, Between yes, his legs. Yes, uh, ironically, some of the, the most confident dictators in the world, <laughs> smallest bollocks of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really... Uh, it doesn't follow. It does, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's actually a really bad measure. We it's should a, stop yeah, using it. Yeah, we should it. really stop using Particularly it. Yeah. In politics, yeah, it particularly in politics. It seems demeaning yes, somehow. Yes, yeah. uh, um, oh, this episode is dedicated to Billy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, Josh, it's been so, so great oh, having you. Thank you so pleasure. much for coming and doing uh, this. Delighted. Thank you so much for doing what you... Thank you so, for bringing so much light into my life. Oh. Uh, and uh, keep, up the, uh, keep up the brilliant work. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the audition room. <laughs> 